West YouTube. It's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. This is G-Boy. This is Viz. And you're now tuned in to GFG TV. Yada. Um, who is your guys' uh, favorite comedian? We'll start with you, G-Boy. Mm. Of all time? Is that Can you do a top three or just a couple favorites? Just name out a couple that you like. I like Cat Williams. And I fuck with Richard Pryor. I want to say Eddie Murphy. Not nah, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. Let me remove Cat Williams and put Eddie Murphy here. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, and Richard Pryor. Let's see. I really was a little bit young when Rich was out like that, so I didn't really know a lot of Richard Pryor like that. So I'm really going to say... Mine is probably Martin for sure, mm -hmm. Bernie. And I like Eddie Murphy a lot too, but I'm kind of leaning towards uh, Dave Chappelle because Dave, mm. Dave Chappelle got a dope way of life. Okay, okay, okay. He'll have a whole story that comes back to like one point. I don't right. know, the way he does that shit is dope. So He's I'll a dope ass comedian. I'll probably yes. say those three. Ones. He's very unique. Favorite hood movie of all time? That's hard as fuck, man. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. All right. That's hard this is a hard one. All right. That's too hard, bro. I probably okay. could do a top five, bro. Okay. I'm going to do a top three real quick. That's yeah, let's just name a couple that you Okay. Got. Damn, bro. Okay. Mr. Bean. Okay. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Okay. Miss the Society. Because my little cousin, Shorty Mo, R.I.P., he used to call me AWACS. And the homeboy, She's low. he's in the feds right now. Free Sheez. He Free Sheez and Free Reese. He would um, call himself O-Dog and Shorty Moe would call himself Kane. Right. So we're going to say Men's Society. <sighs> Belly, because I woke up every day, body, watching Belly <laughs> on bullshit. <laughs> Pay the fool. I like. Nah, I don't know, man. Fuck. Pay the fool, bro. Cause that's one of the only ones I can still watch all the way through all the time. Pay the fool hard. Damn, man. Damn, top three tough, bro. Cause Belly was dope, man. Fuck. Belly was dope. I thought I was buns for like a year and a half, nigga. Uh, but as far as like being like a little nigga and remembering movies, I remember watching Boys in the Hood all the time. Menace New Jack Society. City. Damn. Boys in the Hood, New Jack City, and Pain and Fool. Those are my three. I'm gonna have to pay with I'm gonna have to rock with Menace Society, Pain and Fool. And uh, I can't even really pick, man. Belly might be my number one, man. Because So those three then. Menace Society, Belly, and what's the other one you said? Painful. 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 Yeah. Because the belly might be my number one, man. Because I'm watching DMX. I said, this nigga's a hell of an actor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think he was just being himself. Right. So, on some new age shit, not talking about that old break, but if you was a smoker, what's your favorite strain? What was that shit? Hold up. What was that shit? We went into that goddamn motherfucking Larry Loud. Larry Loud. We went into this motherfucking bar. We didn't even smoke. We smoked before we went in there. They thought we were smoking in the club. We had motherfuckers walking from the back, back, back. Like, they were like, "Is that y'all? Oh, what are y'all smoking?" And we blew in. The and car. we smelled, sprayed hella cologne on ourselves. We sprayed hella cologne. And the and that bitch, I was shook. Man, man, look, we left as soon as that bitch said that shit. I said, like, "We." Gone. I was like, "What the fuck am I here?" <laughs> look, we paranoid. Look, <laughs> banger in the I car. I look right at that nigga like, "Oh, before the lights to carry shit." Yeah, look. We got the thumper in the car. We didn't have no business being there anyway. We was over there bogus. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, we, we had this no thing in the no car. Business. We blowing. We were, but I'm going to keep it even really, y'all. Me and this nigga was the first nigga smoking raw cones. Yeah, I'm going to say that. That, that, that I know. Yeah. In 2013, know. we were smoking raw cones. Because <laughs> we saw Wiz Khalifa doing it. 
And we weren't smoking blunts no more because we was We weren't smoking shit. blunts because we was rapping and we didn't want to fuck our voices up. Yeah. So we motherfuckers saw us smoking them big long ass zigzags. Yeah, Larry Lyle's the truth though, bro. Yeah, we were smoking like that, that Larry Lyle. I, like, I like Gorilla too though. Yeah, that Gorilla. See, we were smoking a lot of these strands years before people knew what they were. And now they got some shit. Cookies. Things. They got all kinds of shit now. Bro. We had cookies in 2013. On me. We had cookies in 2013. On me. We had Girl Scout cookies in 2013. Yeah. What year did y'all hear about Girl Scout cookies? What year? That's when the uh, Offset and them niggas was talking about that. I know, but what year? My like, friend's a girl. 2016, 17, right? I know about right? that shit. For long we time. were smoking that shit in 2013 because we was getting it from the West Coast anyway. Right. We, I, me, I'm one of the motherfuckers. I don't care about the name as long as it's bad. Right. That's why I had to ask right. him what the name was. Right. Man, there was there was some man. Look, we didn't smoke some good ass fucking strands, but we're just gonna say Larry Loud. Larry Loud one was was one of them. Cause that was the shit that had motherfuckers coming up to us like, are y'all smoking? That shit tastes strong and motherfuckers. That's that Larry OG and. uh and nah, man, this was like 2012, 2013. They were, they, and the nigga that we got it from said, said it was Larry Loud. Larry Loud. That's all so Larry OG. And nigga, he might not even know what he was talking he about. He fucked around and didn't know what he was talking <laughs> he about. He fucked around and made some shit up. He fucked, I swear to God, he fucked around and made some shit up. He fucked around and was lying. But whatever but that shit was. Like, was that's that Larry, cuz. <laughs> and somewhere along the lines, he's our cousin somewhere. But that's too so goddamn far like, right, Larry Loud. So he was like, all right, and we was getting shit for the low. Right. And we, so, and we would buy an ounce every other, what, two, three days? And we just split them and up. And we just split it and just smoke. And we'll go to the studio, get with each other. He'd go to work. Right. I'm doing my thing, whatever, whatever. And we would get together and create a song, go down to Fudges, talk some shit, get with Big. And we batching all these fucking blunts. And then right. we would create a song. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember the first time you smoked? I was 11 years old. I was a little dude, bro. It was 1995. I was on the south side with my cousin, Marcus motherfucking Barry. <laughs> <laughs> and my other cousin, R.I.P. Orlando. Um, this is when that bricky weed was still... Uh, this is 95. <laughs> That's all there was. <laughs> yeah. Right. 95. A lot of these motherfuckers weren't even born yet. So this is 95, and we were smoking weed. How'd you smoke weed? Out of a fucking pipe. I didn't know how to roll no blunts. I was about twelve. But uh, damn, that's too young to be rolling blunts. Fuck. Anyway, we were smoking in a pipe with a motherfucker who was too goddamn old to be smoking with us. But we was gonna beat him up if he didn't smoke it with us. Me and my cousin Marcus and my cousin Orlando. Yeah, that's the first time I smoked some weed. And I'm gonna I'm pull a Bill Clinton. I don't even think I ain't here, okay? I don't even know how old I was my first time. I don't even know what fan's name was. It was on Washington. That nigga was sitting in somebody's driveway smoking like a joint or something. I hit that motherfucker like one time. I don't even remember if I even felt anything. I was a little nigga though. But that's the very first time I allegedly smoked some weed. That nigga might have been smoking some tea or something dumb. You remember the first time you bought your first bag of weed? Like, this is mine, my money, my first Oh, man. I remember oh, it was man. on my day. It was on my day. The house up the street from our shit was jumping, nigga. I'm talking about cars lined up, whoop de woo. We had Tiana's older cousin grab us a bag, mm -hmm. nigga. And we, mm -hmm. I remember we tried to roll up the blunt, bro. That motherfucker was so oh, janky, was bro. Nigga. Like 13? Nigga. Yeah. 12, 13? Yeah. Yeah, probably about 13. And that nigga Tiano swerving down, he knew how to roll lion. Didn't know how to roll shit. Lion. Fuck the Why you lying, cuz? He put together enough for us to smoke, though, nigga. We high as hell, nigga. I remember we was eating mayonnaise and chip sandwiches and shit. All right, all right, all right. Look, look, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk about that get high shit. Man, look. The first time you bought your own bag of weed. Do you remember? My mama bought it for me, nigga. Talk about it. Man, look, all right, it was my birthday, right? I was like, I turned like 15. My mom was like, cause she knew if she had gave me the money, she knew I was gonna go buy a bag of weed with it. She knew. And so she was like, hey baby, I know what you do, and this is what I can do for you. She slid it to me. This is some shit that don't nobody know. I'm, I'm telling y'all, 
inner workings of the Vizzle's fucking life. My mama bought me a bag of weed, nigga. To this day, I don't know where she got it from. <laughs> I never even had, I didn't even give a fuck. My mama got me a bag of weed, nigga. I'm gonna blow this shit. But I also completed school. I was still national champ, and I was still all-star track runner, Jovan Magruder. So that never affected it. So my mama bought me a bag of weed, nigga. I couldn't wait to tell this story. Nigga, my mama <laughs> bought I was 15, and my mama gave me a bag of weed, nigga. And I don't even know if half the family members know this shit. Nigga, she gave me that motherfucking bag of weed. I called up A.D. Adam Dixon. <laughs> it was like, where you at, cuz? Yeah, that blue Bonnieville. Yeah, Bonnie. I hopped in the car with him. We went to the Drake liquor store on 2 1. Y'all niggas know. <laughs> yeah, this drive. The motherfucking <laughs> Drake. OG, no, hold up. Hold up. OG, no. I went through the drive through on 2 1 and brought me some perfectos. Yeah. Not now, Blunts. In the pack. Boy, See, these young niggas don't even know what the... I, I'm speaking broken English and fucking Chinese arithmetic right now. We smoking Perfectos and Now Bloods. Do y'all motherfuckers even know what a Now Blood is? No, you don't. We brought fucking cigarellos to the game, but that's another story. And motherfucking over them little ass minis. The minis, The yeah. mini Bloods. Y'all remember, remember the mini Bloods? Before the cigarellos, it was big ass Bloods, Phillies. The Phillies in the tube. Yep, Philly. That's when they turned it up, when they turned it to the two. Man. The peach and all the that. The Garcia Bay is in the two. Oh, OG, no. OG, you know. The Garcia's in the two. That was the first Garcia, Garcia I smoked. Other guy said. We was chocolate Philly guys. See, oh, see. Man. Chocolate Philly. Oh, yeah. Like my Kansas City niggas. See, I was smoking grapes and strawberries. Yeah, they were smoking the Mexicalis. Yeah, nigga, Mexicalis. They was I got good. sick off those motherfuckers back in the G. And they used to sell them two, two, the two packs. Remember? Yeah. Mexicalis, they yep. were that a strawberry margarita. I think. On the low, yeah. them were fucking cigarellos. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're just a little smaller, though. Yeah, and I'm going to yeah. keep it even realer with y'all. Motherfucking um, Chewy. Terry Rice is aunt. I forgot her real name. We all family, but you know, we don't even know niggas' real names. Mm -hmm. Family. It's fucked up. But anyway, Chewy. Terry Rice. Is Ann. Shauna Burkett, you know, they're the twins, because Terry Rice and his sister are my cousins. Jamea Rice is my cousin. That's my god sister. That's their brother and sister. Um, she was the first person in 1998 I seen smoking a cigarello. I said, how the fuck are you going to put the weed in there? She She's about to it up. And then we went to fucking Rock Island, Illinois. We hooked up with our our cousins, our extended family in uh, Moline and Rock Island. We went up there for some Isoret shit. On the low, you was probably there, but oh, I went off with um, AD and our uh, and our Hall family mm -hmm. from out there in Rock Island. These niggas was rolling up motherfucking Garcia Vega cigarellos. The shit that we're smoking now, they were rolling up then. And I said, how are you going to put this weed in this little ass blunt? We used to buy blunts and roll up the whole blunt. We was buying Perfectos. And rolling up the whole kids. blunt. Yeah. We buy a blunt for 10. Now you blunts. Whole, we put the whole goddamn blunt. My motherfucking <laughs> cousin Lolo put a half ounce and five motherfucking, uh, uh, motherfucking now blunts. Me and my nigga Jamar Jenkins. It's fat ass one. I swear to God. Nigga, I remember this shit like it's yesterday. These fat niggas fucked one. up. I got a memory like a motherfucker. And I don't remember shit that happened yesterday, but I remember shit that happened fucking 15 years ago. <laughs> Motherfucking uh, Jamar Jenkins. <laughs> my bogus was saying my names and shit. Keep it real with me. All right, well, fuck it. <laughs> nigga, his old Magruder, Jamar Jenkins, and motherfucking Tim motherfucking McCoy. Who won't answer my motherfucking Facebook messages, nigga? <laughs> you still my guy though. I fucking got love for you, but answer my motherfucking Facebook messages, nigga. But anyway, I was with Jamar Jenkins. We went half on a motherfucking half ounce. My motherfucking cousin Lolo Harris, nigga. I love you, nigga. My motherfucking cousin Lolo Harris, not Lolo White, Lolo Harris. 
This nigga rolled up all them blunts. He rolled up six of them on the law and took one with him. I ain't mad at him because I probably would have did the same shit. He rolled up all our blunts. We smoked four of them with him. I'm high enough. Now remind y'all, I'm like 14. I'm high as like 20 something years ago. I I'm high as fuck. My motherfucking nigga called uh, my nigga uh, Jamar Jenkins, called Tim McCoy, um, and Tim picked us up. And we and, I, and we had two bloods rolled up, and we still had this blunt that needed to be rolled up. I could roll, but I was embarrassed to roll up a sloppy ass blunt. For some reason, that blunt got rolled up. Moral of the story is, man, I was higher than a motherfucker, man. Jamar Jenkins, Tim McCoy. Tim, answer my Facebook messages, nigga. Jamar, wherever you at, come holler at me, nigga. I'm on Facebook. Let's move on. Yes, sir. Uh... <clears throat> Favorite drink? Alcohol of choice. Gasoline or champagne? That's the question you should ask. Gasoline or champagne? I like gasoline. Gasoline, it, it, I might start a fight off some gasoline, but sh uh, champagne I won't. What you think? As far as liquor, I probably like Don Julio the most. Because if we spill it on our clothes, because we wear a lot of white, if we spill it on our clothes <laughs> drunk, you won't see the spill. I feel like the hangover. Ain't I like got it. that from him. Yeah, the hangover. I got that from him. He was like, cuz, drink some light shit. You spill it on your clothes, and you won't see the stain. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, yep, yep. So we drink it all light liquor in the club. Yep, yep, yep. We're Red Bull. Yep, I'm listening. Uh, yeah. uh, so, say you was being executed tomorrow, what would be your last meal? Ooh. Tomahawk, baby. Yes. Medium. Yes. Not medium rare. Medium. Yes. Tomahawk, baby. Yes. With some motherfucking mashed potatoes and mm. some fire ass and DD gravy. Mm. And some greens I cooked. Mm. There you go. Shit, yeah, he said that shit real fast. Nigga, I don't know. Uh. Raisins, I, don't eat, I don't eat meat. Because he's vegan and shit. I ain't uh, there yet. Even though shit. I'm a Buddhist and shit, I ain't there yet. But he's already there. Nigga, I don't even know. Bro. Probably some bomb ass like pasta or something. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah, some good lasagna tomorrow. or something like that. What do you all think uh, won the Jeezy? Uh, Jeezy. 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 Snowman. Jeezy the snowman. Man. Jeezy the dope man. Vizzle the dope man. Gucci, Jeezy the dope man. Gucci nigga. dope, but Jeezy that nigga, bro. Yeah. Like, Gucci dope, but Jeezy. I knew Jeezy win? Did, I know Gucci Why did he win? Chance, bro. Because music shit, man. Gucci went outside the box and got disrespectful. Jeezy didn't do it one time. Yeah. And just, just music wise, music just but, song, and song for song, Jeezy songs is just killing. Song it. for song, yeah, I think it was really an unfair match on some. Real if you shit. really, if you want to, okay, we're not talking about the other ventures like the masterpiece shit. If we're gonna talk about music, hit for hit, Gucci didn't have a chance. Hit no, for hit, he did not have as a far chance, as hit for hit, it should have been Ross and Jeezy on some hit for hit shit, bro. Right. On some hit for right. hit shit. But because right. of the Jeezy and Gucci beef, beef. it was bigger. It made sense. But I actually like the E40 too short shit way better. But I they think had fun. the Jeezy yeah. and Gucci thing was a big moment, though, for them niggas to do it the way they did it. Yeah. That was big. They had the most fucking that people. Was big. But as far as a real ever. versus, the best versus would be Rick Ross and Jeezy, for sure. But yeah. I actually like the too short. And E40 because that was hard. I love I love watching E40 it. dance because they had. Them up, I swear to God, up, he's doing dances like I, I can't dance. Serious. He ain't even trying to dance. He's just making up shit. This nigga like me, just, just like me. Shit, bro. I'm making up shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I'm making up words, drinks, food. It's all it's all good. I'm making up shit. What you guys think about Tyson uh, Roy Jones fight? It wasn't even. It was both. Mike spared him. Mike spared him. Mike Everybody spirit. knows he could have finished Mike is a bro. fucking killer. And Roy knew it. Roy knew it. But see, even Roy, Roy even admitted it. Roy was like, I got fighting Mike Tyson up under my belt. And he tried to like, of course you're going to have a little bit of cockiness about yourself at the end, but he know. He and know. Mike know it. Mike he tried much, to pull that Mike James much said it like, shit. I don't want to hurt him. This is my friend. This is an exhibition. But Mike did But if Mike wants to hurt you, he will hurt yeah. you. Nobody's whooping prime Mike. Let's get Nobody. that out of the way. What y'all think about the weird face off? The, the glass and shit. 
Well, they're doing that with all fights now. Why can't they just... They're, they're doing, doing that with all fights. Well, fuck it, man. Put a basketball player? They put the divider up now. So, what? you know when they have the face-offs, like you're not actual face and all that. Oh, man. We're going to catch each other's cooties in the goddamn ring. They're doing that shit with everything. So, it's kind of just the climate we live in. It's whatever. Yeah, that's just weird. It's... There's a lot of weird. We gonna catch this goddamn cooties. They literally all in each other's faces, literally the day after. Like, Nick, what the fuck, right, man? Look, right, man. They right. and they, and, they, and, they, and they're hooking up with hookers and shit later on. Come on, man. We I think they try to do it to try to make sure that they don't have no type of. So let's say one of them people in their camp that's positive at it, like the day of the fight. They just want to. You know what I mean? It's some yeah. shit like that. It's just a, contracts. I get it. It's, bi- it's business. I get it. It's business. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker but money invested. Like, you better not fuck off my money. Tell that nigga you better not be in my fighter's face. But we in the club later on, just close to a bitch, touching her. Who got the coat? <laughs> <laughs> and we going to take this bitch back to the room because she fine. And, said, and she got it going on. Said, and she's gonna let me and all my <laughs> fucking crew, crew hit. hit. And but I get to go first. Day, next day, get punched. Yeah. Right. Uh, shit. Right. So Super Bowl predictions. What two teams y'all think are, are making? Yeah. I think it's gonna be Tampa, Kansas City. I'm gonna leave it alone. I think it's gonna be Tampa, Kansas City. I don't want to get beat up in this basement, man. I'm probably outnumbered. One, two. I'm outnumbered. I don't want to say no Giants or nothing. <laughs> well, them niggas ain't even in it. That's what I'm saying. And I don't want to get beat up. <laughs> Where the fuck I'm at, and I'm in an undisclosed location. I don't even really know where the fuck I'm at, actually. But <laughs> this nigga had a lot of twists and turns and shit getting here. But <laughs> and look, this nigga got lost. He had, and anyway, <laughs> man, look, I don't want to get beat up in this motherfucking basement. To so say in my opinion, Tampa, so I'm Kansas gonna leave that alone. Tampa, Kansas City, because. But honestly. On some for real shit, I think Buffalo might upset Kansas City. Hmm. On some for real Buffalo shit. Buffalo got some dope-ass Buffalo, ass Buffalo, rappers. If Buffalo sees yeah. Kansas City, Buffalo yeah. might upset them. But I think it's going to be Kansas City and Tampa, and I think it's going to be the highest scoring Super Bowl, and Brady's going to win. All right, so do you think the Lakers repeat this year? Fucking right. LeBron? <laughs> he said LeBron? <laughs> I ain't even going to say nothing. LeBron's the best player in the fucking world. <laughs> As we speak, come on, he'll back you down, shoot your eyes out, and glide from the free throw. They're set up to win. He's Dr. J, motherfucking, that Hodges nigga who used to shoot them three points for the Chicago Bulls and motherfucking Jordan all in one. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm 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 Guys, hold up, guys. What you think, (laughs) Z-Ball? Your ass deaf. Yep. What you think, Deaf? Niggas weak, but nah, they might win. They might. Yeah. They said they have a squad built to win, so Man, I'd be. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but I really don't. Who is fucking? <laughs> I don't man, care about nobody me. fucking with LeBron man. James, man. He's I'll six never foot be a Lakers nine, fan. I didn't like two thirty. I didn't like. Like he'll duck from the R. three point line. I respect Kobe. I didn't like his ass. I didn't like the Lakers. Kobe never. got five rings though. I'm an AI fan. Them niggas beat us in the finals. For They've sure. been fucking since two thousand one. <laughs> you right. You right. You know what I mean? You right, cuz. But right. Right. I can see. I can see LeBron and make you it again. though. they might. G-Ball, what made you become a barber? I remember, you become a barber, I remember my cousin Antoine's ass asked me to cut his hair one time. I didn't want to do it. He talked me into it. I cut his shit. He went to school, and he had a couple motherfuckers come up and ask me if I'll cut their shit. And I had them bring in their clippers. They had their own clippers. They would bring them to school, and I'd cut them in the locker room after school for 10 bucks. I heard a rumor you was doing that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that shit. <laughs> I never knew it was true. I thought it was some bullshit. Because, all right, we got twin cousins. We got like 10 sets of twins in our family. But that's another story. We got our twin cousins, Richard and Melvin. And Melvin was like, cuz. Or was Rich. He was like, cuz. I heard you was already cutting niggas' his hair. In my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, man. But I heard he was in the locker room at Hoover lining niggas up. So that's true. But I didn't know how to cut for real. <coughs> so it was just, you get a low even. There ain't no fade, no nothing. Shit, shit, I didn't know. And I didn't even have my own clippers. I'd yeah. be like, nigga, you got clippers? They'd be like, yeah, I'm like, well, bring your shit <laughs> tomorrow, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they bring 10 bucks. So, nigga, I got you, nigga. And it was like yeah. two people. I'm cutting that shit yeah. sometimes. And then I remember I, was, I went to go take a test because you got to take a test when you sign up for school. And mm-hmm. I missed it by like a point. And you have to wait six months before you can come back. And I never went back, so I started just doing other shit. And then one time I ended up cutting my son's hair, and I was like, damn, that shit look kind of decent. And I went up to Platinum, 
Cause I used to go get my hair cut there from Big Rob, mm-hmm. and uh, I was telling him like, man, I'm thinking about going to barber college. And him and Dan was like, yeah, you should go. Woo woo woo. And I went and signed up, and that was it. Yeah. yeah. How long ago was that? I started 2014? school in 2014 and graduated yeah. 2015. I graduated the same month we did the fish scale release party. Yeah. So it, it was like a, it was a celebration for that. Yeah. Too. So, it was my yeah. birthday. He graduated. It and was then me and my birthday. cousin, my cousin Melvin went to Barber College. We, graduated. we graduated the same day. Their birthday's yeah. on the 29th. So we just literally just put everything in. All into that party yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Man, where do you cut hair at? I'm at uh, Blaze on Univer- uh, Ingersoll. Blaze on is? Ingersoll. 2204 Ingersoll across the sure. media con. Oh. Yeah. So many uh, future business plans lined up for 2021? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I already started doing my t-shirt shit. Like I made this right here. And I'm waiting on mine. I'm That's just fine. Saying, man. Got you. So I do my t-shirt yeah. shit. Uh, cut here and then I also... I uh, my figure, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was freaking no, no. <laughs> was freaking guys over here. Wesley Pipes, motherfucker. Nah, I'm just there. Um, nah, I need my shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, the barber shit. And then I also uh, got a food truck I'm going to be there opening up this year, too. Okay, yeah. Yep, so uh, it's going to be called What the Fries. It's going to be all kinds of different load of fries and shit. And uh, the truck's almost Ooh, done. So dope. it'll be coming out in March, April. Dope. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Yeah, hell yeah. <clears throat> How has the pandemic uh, affected your career? It ain't affect me in no way, form, or fashion. This shit can't kill me. I keep telling y'all this shit. I'm the only one that can kill me. Do you follow so, you? It affected me in a good way and a bad way. Like, I remember the shop was shut down for maybe two and a half months. Mm. So that was kind of, that was weird, first of all, because I had to be at the crib all the time. Which I'm not used to sitting still like that, so yeah. I couldn't really cut hair. But I have the L7. I got a barber shop set up in my basement that I did myself. So the people I like, I would allow to come to my crib type shit. I cut them here and there. But you know, the government was giving away so much bread. I really wasn't. I it didn't affect me financially. It just affected me as far as being able to actually cut. And then when we first opened back up, it was kind of slow. It took a while because people were kind of hesitant about coming out, especially some places like that. But it was like so many people in one place, so it took a while for the shop to pick back up. But my business never really slowed down for me personally. Uh, what would be the best way to get a hold of you guys uh, for business purposes? Shit. Social media for real. Uh, I'm all on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. How they find you? Uh, my Facebook name is just Gary G. Ball Dameron. Uh, I got two barber pages. My personal one's official underscore G Ball. The other one's G Ball the Barber. And I'm at the barber shops. Like everybody knows who I am. I'm not like a. I'm pretty familiar, so it's not hard man, to get a hold of me if you want to. So. Man, everybody yeah, you get hold of me. If, you get hold of me if you want to. So yeah. Uh-huh. Fly ass G Ball. Everybody knows fly ass G Ball. <laughs> everybody knows gang banging ass Viz. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you get a hold of me through G Ball. Yeah. There you go. And then you would go through G Ball too, first for GMB. Yeah. yeah. Just hit me. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll take yeah. care of it from there. Yeah. All right. And just closing out, do any shout outs, you know, anybody that you guys want to Everybody that, fuck, yeah, everybody that fuck with us, bro. Like, honestly, I feel like I get quite a bit of support from everybody. So mm-hmm. I appreciate that across the board as far as cutting here. People shout me out on just being a good dad, just normal shit. Like, I appreciate mm-hmm. all that shit. So. Really, anybody that fucks with me, for real. I really don't got too many people I got a problem with or nothing like that, so. Right. We've always got love. Man. We always got love for people, so. I mean, it don't go unnoticed. I definitely appreciate it. All right. Well, from GFG TV, we appreciate you guys. Oh, uh, Big W. One bitch. time, I'd like to give a shout out to my Philly niggas, my Trenton niggas, and my Camden niggas, and my MOB niggas. Bottom line. And some of my block niggas. I ain't leave you niggas out. Right. Free murder. Free murder. Free reason she's. Free reason she's, man. And it is what it is on anybody else's tip. Because she's is one of mine. Right. It is what it is. Appreciate and that you, is. Man. For sure. Already.
West West YouTube. It's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. 